We were one of the uh, first pilot clinics and we've been implemented here for about six weeks. I was lucky to have a good crew. We have a relatively small clinic and the transition was easier. The benefits the electronic health record is going to have for some of the patients long term. Uh, there's a convenience factor. The prescriptions are transmitted in fairly short order. Um, I think it's easy to bring up their data to see what their blood pressure has been over a certain time frame and they often will ask what their last cholesterol was, what their last weight was, and it's, it's pretty much right there if you can get good at accessing it. It was available the old way, but it's cleaner, it's easier, less papers to lose, less papers to shuffle, so it's got a lot of pluses that way. A lot of pharmacies here, some at least, will uh, notify the patient uh, by text if they set it up with them when a prescription is ready and I was in a room and prescribed it on the computer like we have been doing and um, we chatted for a little while afterwards and all of a sudden his phone goes off and I thought well okay it's a friend calling and he said oh it's the pharmacy it's ready already. Well one of the benefits that uh, surprises me and, and I found to be a definite plus is you know there's different ways to do the interaction with the patient and in some instances you bring the the computer in the room. Well, say if a friend called me and said, hey, we're about to do this. I know you've been doing it for six weeks. What do you think? I would probably tell him to take a deep breath and uh, anticipate some initial early issues and problems. And I would tell them to get, uh, you know, rely on your help if you have some good help and get some key people that are adept with the computer. But it was not as bad as I anticipated. And every day you do it, it gets a little better. I mean, we're far from being where we want to be with it. Don't get me wrong but it's making progress, and I'm, I'm pleased where we are so far, at least, and they will be too. They just have to hang in there, not get frustrated, and uh, it'll work out. I think the electronic health record is gonna be a must-have tool going forward with the care models. There's many healthcare models out there, but they all involve uh, data, and data management, patient group management, and reimbursement's gonna be tied to performance and quality, and you can't manage quality unless you're measuring. You can't measure if you don't have that. So that is obviously a, a key thing. Well, someone who comes in with, you know, diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, and who knows what all, heart disease. Um, you can have, I mean, there's the, there's the access to all the data, access to the records, that's click, click, click. Um, on the documentation of the visit, which is important for the coding, which is important to justify your charge level, actually, uh, you need a very detailed exam, and you do one, but it's very tedious and time consuming to dictate that typically. But with the templates and the sets of normals, typically what I will do, I'll click some normal and then change what is abnormal. And it's much easier that way than the old way of doing it. It's almost more enjoyable for me because I can go in and just you know, do what I need to do and talk with them and be a doc.